I am not a Catholic, but I don't like stupidity. You know, the Bible has actually forbid me from saying the word stupid, but the Bible allowed me to say the word stupid when people say something stupid, which means I cannot call someone saying something stupid unless he is doing that. <clears throat> I'm not trying to insult. In the front of us, we have a sister here. Her name is Jackie. She is saying, is CP a Catholic? No, I am not. Uh, a Catholic pray to Mary, CP. You are wrong. They are sorry. My mother is a Catholic, and she pray to Mary. I'm born again Christian, and I do not pray to Mary. I mean, here, you see how many mistakes you made, Jackie, with my respect to you. I consider you as my sister in Christ, and I don't mean to say any harsh words for you. But obviously, your tongue is running by itself, and your brain is not functioning. Let me show you how many mistakes you made in your own sentence. For sure, I'm not talking about your English. Catholic pray to Mary. That is very, very silly to say. If you read the Bible, I'm not sure even you do. You see, you said your mother is a Catholic, so you do not know what your mother she say. Your mother, she is not praying to Mary. You are really ignorant. Extremely ignorant. And I saw those comments all over. Let us go to the prayer, which the Catholic, they say. Or let us say, the prayer you are saying, they pray to Mary. And then everybody will be laughing at you. And if you are a person who believes read the Catholic, they pray to Mary, uh, take a moment and laugh at you after you read with me carefully. This is the problem, actually, I see always, even when we study Islam or anything. I mean, people, they, their mouth run by itself. It's like a, a special organ. There's no control of it. The brain is not there. The tongue is just going all over the place. And like blah, 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 blah. This is the prayer which you are talking about, and your mother, she pray. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord with, is with thee. Blessed are thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of the womb, Jesus. Okay, hold on. But isn't it, this is what the Bible says? This is a quotation from the Bible. So you are saying when the angels, they say this to Mary, they are worshiping Mary. Then they will say to you, hold on. Here it says, uh, 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 Holy Mary, Mother of God. They say, well, she is holy and Mother of God. The Bible mentioned about holy people, right? Holiness is, is uh, uh, Mary. I mean, you see, if Christ himself, he chose to come through Mary, obviously Mary, she is a pure. Here is about being pure. She is the best pure woman ever. And this is why she was a chosen, elected. She was a chosen by God himself. I mean, how much honor you want that the Messiah, your Lord, he is born of Mary. How honor a woman she can accomplish. Which one is better for my mother? To be my mother or to be the mother of Christ? For sure, I am not the one who is going to win. So, you are out of control when you say things which is silly. Mother of God, they say to you, they say she is a mother of God. Isn't it Jesus your God? Okay. Isn't it she is his mother <laughs> by birth? <laughs> so she is mother of... <laughs> I mean, the state, either you believe that Jesus is God, then you cannot complain about such a statement because yes, she is his mother. Then you will say, but God don't have a mother. By birth, he have. This is what Christianity teach. By, in Christianity, by the Bible, that Jesus is the son of Joseph and the son of Mary, by birth. This is what the Bible teach. By the flesh. And look what you are ignoring. Pray for uh, us. Pray for us. She is herself, she is doing an act of worship. He, Mary herself, they are asking her to worship with them. They are not praying for her. Pray for us. Or maybe you are blind. You did not see the main purpose of the whole this thing here. Pray for us. Mary herself joining the believers, praying to the Lord. So you said 
that Mary she pray or Catholic pray for Mary but this is not what the what, what, what the statement is saying the Catholic is asking Mary to pray for them <clears throat> so for for the sake of God I don't know I, don't, I, I hate to use the word stupid and silly but I have to use it I mean sometimes people they have no brain I don't know what happened to the brain we killed it I think the food we eat I don't know what happened those people are asking Mary to pray for them. They are not praying to Mary. And everything you saw there is written in the Bible. And look what you said. I am born again a Christian. I don't pray to Mary. That's very stupid to say. What first they don't pray to Mary and they don't want to worship Mary and there's no single Catholic worship Mary consider her as divine God that is very silly and very false statement shame on you to be Christian and to say you see I, I, I will not allow a Catholic to say a lie against the Protestant but I will not allow you to to say a lie against the Catholic and you know the, I, I think the problem is that from the Catholic Church there's people who say things which is not a truth or not true about the Protestant and from the Protestant there's a lot of people saying lies about the Catholic so whoever those people who they are doing that to each other they are not practicing Christianity because the Christianity teaches to be truthful honest and don't fabricate lies so if you want to say something against the Catholic you don't like okay say it but be truthful as an example, me myself, I don't like people to pray in front of a, an icon. I'm not going to fabricate a lie, say they do something but it's not true. I don't agree with them with that. But I still understand those people, they love Jesus, they love Mary, and they are not worshipping the image, they are not worshipping the picture. I am against it, but still that will not make them not Christians. You see, if you commit sin, you don't do, you, you are not Christian, that's me, none of us is a Christian. So let us say, for the sake of argument, praying in front of an icon is a sin. But somehow, this sin is really, I mean, I mean, those people, they are good people. Look, they love Jesus, that's what they, this is what they are doing. So they, when they practice something, even that what you call it sin, it is noble. The purpose of is the purpose of it is something noble so I don't agree with it but for them by the way they have tons of argument to prove that this is a true this is the right way to do it so if I don't agree with them doesn't mean they are wrong for me I believe there's no need for that because the Bible says don't make images for what up up in this in, in heaven and down in earth However, they will quote for you verses and they will say, show you, okay, there is other verses saying, etc. So it is a different of opinion, but still they are Christians who believe in the Messiah, who worship Jesus, who believe in the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, and nobody is adding a new divine to the scriptures. And actually, when you say, I am born again a Christian, obviously, you do not know what born again Christian mean. Born again Christian what does this have to do with uh, praying to Mary? And even though, as I showed you, they don't pray to Mary. Born again a Christian, if you go to John chapter 3, you will see it says that born again, you see, you are acting the same as the Jews and even the same as the disciples who they use to be Jews and they are taking things literally. You see, just to show you that people don't read. The Bible, they do not know even what the Bible is. Yet they claim to, to be born again a Christian. You are not born again Christian. You've never been born yet. You are only born from your mother. And I'm going to use a translation which is accepted by the Protestant. Not a translation by the Catholic. So that, just to make you make you happy. And actually this is a translation always I use, you know, most of the time King James because they have an audio. Even though sometimes like their English is really hard for me uh, uh, because it's a very old uh, English. So if you go in the book of Luke and you go down, you will see here something maybe you are not aware of. I don't know if you did read the Holy Chapter or not yet, but I advise you uh, 
to take your time as long as you claim to be born again Christian and start reading the holy chapter so you can learn something. And the angel came to her and said, Hail, though to you are uh, uh, highly favored. The Lord is with you. Blessed are thou among the women. This is what they say, the Catholic. They are quoting the Bible. So according to you, the one who quote the Bible is praying to Mary. According to you, the angels are worshipping Mary and Mary is God now. <laughs> it's amazing, isn't it? I mean, what I can say, it's really amazing. And then if you like you know if you want to go and search for where where more sentences coming from those sentences are collection of verses from the bible about mary actually from the same chapter we will find you know more verses if you go to uh, 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 here let us see you know like i mean all the verses are are confirming who is mary is you know and uh, how how mary she is honored and whence is this to me that the mother of my lord should come to me what the, the, the mother of who you see the ignorant they say that the catholic they say they say that mary she is the mother of god this is your this is the protestant translation the mother of what of my god my lord so look like <laughs> that elizabeth she is a Catholic too, according to you. And she is not born again Christian. There is one thing I pray, that if one day I get married, I pray, I pray, that I will marry a smart woman, otherwise I will jump from the window and maybe commit suicide. <laughs> Be smart, please. Be smart. You see, God, he gave you a brain, but there's people, they kill their brain, they don't want to use it. God, he gave a brain for women and men. Those comments, we hear them from men too, not only women. I mean, are you blind? And the funny, each time I correct the Catholic about the Protestant, they, ex they get upset from me. I correct the Protestant about the Catholic, they get upset from me. And I receive emails saying, we will not donate for you. You defend the Catholic. Uh, we will not donate for you. You are defending the Protestant. I don't care who donate or not. Take your money. I am not for sale. I am not for the devil. I am here to share the truth. And if you are a person who hate the Catholic or a person who hate the Protestant, please go and stop your donation. I beg you. Your money is dirty. We are one in Christ. Not by a priest. He's a Protestant. Not by the Pope. Not by a Christian prince. All of us, we are sinners. And all those names don't count. Anyone bring division, he is not from God. The Bible teach there is one church. So each time you divide yourself, you are going against the will of the Lord. And what the Lord said, not everyone says to me, Lord, Lord will enter the kingdom of my father, but the one who do his will, you are not doing his will. You are busy fighting inside the house instead of praising the lord a christian who believe in jesus as their lord as their savior they believe in the father the son the holy spirit and the same for you if you're a catholic the protestant they are christians don't listen to your stupid priest lying to you they are good people and if somebody told you that he, he is the one his church is the one will take you to heaven obviously he's a fraud he is of the devil because nobody can take you to heaven. No priest, no man, no bishop, no pope, only Christ the Messiah. And I can quote for you in these verses in the Bible. Oh, CP, they pray for the saint, you idiot. 
Did the Bible have ton a ton of verses speaking about praying to each other? And the word pray, you see, we have an idiot, his name, uh, uh, Mimi Hijab. When David Wood, he asked him, uh, uh, Allah, he pray uh, uh, on Muhammad. He said he pray for, not to. It is what you are doing now. But here it fit perfectly. Mary, she is praying for, <laughs> for the Catholic. And the Catholic are not praying to Mary. <laughs> they are asking Mary to pray for them. Oh boy. Uh, Christian, as you claim, first learn that reborn is not about uh, what you are saying. It is about who is the one who accept the Messiah as Lord, as Savior, and he do baptism by the water and the Spirit. And if your mother is a Catholic, that does not mean that you are, you know what Catholic is about. Obviously, you don't. And actually, most of those people who claim to be Catholic or Protestant, they don't even know what does that mean. They have no idea. They are just born of it or, you know, that's it. You became holy. Suddenly, you became, you became the saint and they became the devil. Why? Because somebody told you they pray to Mary, which is absolutely false. The prayer in the front of you, they are asking Mary to pray for them. And we can show tons of verses in the Bible where they are saying, pray for me, brother. Pray for each other. Actually, there is an article. Let me see if I can find. There is, I'm sure there is some articles they can explain to you about the word pray. How in the Bible it come in many places have different meaning. However, even in the prayer there, it is pray for us. I mean, it's so clear, guys, you know, pray for us, pray for us. Pray for us to who? She pray to who? They are not asking her to forgive them. You see, do you see anywhere she, they are saying, forgive us, Mary? Pray for us. Now and in the hour of our...